Well, Election Day is just over two weeks away, and political campaigns are in their final stretch, hoping to get Coloradans out to the polls. Our Olivia Young learned more about those get-out-the-vote efforts. Olivia, the countdown is on. It certainly is, Tori. With ballots now out, politicians on both sides of the aisle are working to secure votes from Coloradans. I stopped by some events this weekend and took the temperature on how Colorado voters are feeling heading into Election Day. As November 8th approaches, the race is on to get out the vote. Every election between now and when we expire is the most important elections of our lifetime, and we need it treated that way. Friday, Democratic candidates speaking at a roundtable for black Colorado voters. And Saturday, Republicans connecting with voters at an Arapaho County campaign event. It is vital that we have every Republican and then some to participate in this election to get us across the finish lines. Conservative candidates condemning Democratic leaders for inflation. We got record inflation. I want to give Michael Bennett the proper credit for that. While Democrats criticizing anti abortion opponents and election deniers. I am so optimistic in 17 days. Coloradans, but largely Americans, are going to show up and reject the election denialism that is corroding this country. In the audience, voters deciding which issues are important to them. Social equity. The economy, inflation. Those are probably two of the biggest things. And which candidates will get their vote. So I'm an unaffiliated voter. But uh, I wanted to come check this out, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm real excited about it. Across the political spectrum, Coloradans preparing to use their vote to make their voices heard. The right to vote is a critical right. And as you see, my hat says black votes matter. So it's important that we get every vote uh, in our community uh, out and registered uh, and voted. If you don't vote, then you really can't complain about what has occurred. You have to get out there and vote. It's a privilege that you need to take. Now, all registered voters will receive a ballot in the mail. Again, those have already started going out. You can return it to a drop box or mail it back to the county clerk, but it must be received by 7 p.m. on November 8th. Of course, you can still choose to vote in person on Election Day as well. Tori. Thank you, Olivia.